Well, I was in foster care because of my mom abandoned me with her sister and um, me and my sisters were moved around, bounced around from foster home to foster home, group home to group home, not knowing where to go and who we were. Basically, uh, you know, my mom was, you know, had a lifestyle that she was upholding, so she wasn't being responsible. So basically, my grandmother stepped in and took over, and uh, I've been in foster care ever since then. I moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin when I was 12 years old to live with my father. He had a history with drug abuse, which led me to foster care. I have been in over 50 foster homes. Well, aging out of the foster care system means basically you reach a certain age where they consider you as an adult. So technically you're not a child no more by law, so in some cases your funding stops. In 1999, um, the state of Wisconsin conducted a study of what happened to kids aging out of foster care. And, and what they found was, was um, surprising, it was tragic. Uh, and it was a call to action for Lad Lake. You know, even though you're not mentally ready, you're, only, you're still a kid, but I guess by law and by the books, they figure you're an adult, so when you hit that age, you, you age up. I certainly wasn't ready uh, to be independent at the age of 18. Uh, I think most of us live at home um, or have the support of families for many years beyond 18. And yet these kids are, are simply you know, at the age of 18, suddenly considered emancipated, and they're not ready. Imagine you being 17 or 18 years old, you wake up, your mom is gone, your father is gone, uh, you have nobody to turn to, you may have $20 in your pocket, you don't have a job, but you gotta eat. Connections is a voluntary service that works with youth who are aging not foster care. And we have four core areas that we work with them. We try to help them with their education, employment, community resources, and housing. What we came to understand was that kids were exiting care without uh, the, um, the, the support systems and skills that they needed to successfully transition to adulthood. So in 2001, we, we launched our Connections program um, with uh, the Bureau of Milwaukee Child Welfare to try to help kids aging out of foster care. The reason that it is so important for these young people to live independently is that a lot of them don't have family. The whole reason they're in foster care is because there's nobody there to offer the support or help raise them. This is really a, a, a case where we can make a difference in, in, a, in, a, in a few hundred kids' lives and help them become productive members of society. Lyle Lake, with their guidance and their resources, has really been a major part of my life. And you know, I owe them a lot and I appreciate everything they've done for me. Pinwheels are just this perfect child toy. Um, and in the foster care system, um, a little exercise that they did was to, take, to make their own pinwheels, to write their hopes and dreams on each one of those flaps, fold them inward, and then as they blew in the wind, it just represented this perfect uh, you know, image of childhood. You know, we took that idea and, and we developed Project Pinwheel as a way of, of raising community awareness about the needs of kids in foster care. Uh, last year, we planted over 7,000 pinwheels uh, around the Milwaukee community uh, as a way of, of raising awareness the, to the fact that there are 7,000 kids uh, in foster care within Wisconsin. Project Pinwheel gives them a voice. It gets them the opportunity to get out there and talk to the community, talk to representatives, talk to the governor and say, listen, there's kids in foster care. We're some of them. Here's a pinwheel. What do you want to ask us? Oh, we want pinwheels all over Milwaukee if we can. I mean, you drive to Milwaukee, it's just one big pinwheel, so. Project Pinwheel is intended to be a resource for the community. It's a place where they can go and learn more about the foster care system, how they can get involved and what they can do to make a difference in the life of even one child. Being a foster child, you get the word that foster kids are, are negative people, which is not true. We have dreams and goals also. Foster kids are often misunderstood. Um, 
you know, they're seen in, sometimes as bad kids or kids that are just, you know, throwaway kids. And the reality is that they're kids that are just, in many cases, victims of their of circumstances. Well, foster care kids are special because an average person probably wasn't able to deal with half of the things we dealt with. I mean, it's just hard to imagine not having your parents there. You know, like, I'm 22 years old now, and it still has never failed me about the story that my, you know, grandmother told me about how I was left in that apartment building for about a week, and she got a call and came and got me. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they get up every day, how they go to school, how they pay for their housing, how they go to work, how they advocate for others. It's just, it's unbelievable to me. They're my heroes. Um, they're just uh, uh, special young people, uh, and, um, and they motivate me, and they motivate everybody at Ladley uh, to try to give them that little extra that they need uh, to succeed. The more people know about Lad Lake's independent living program, the better we do for helping these young people. And that's why we're hoping to get the community more involved in this, uh, this issue because every kid, especially foster kids, need a caring adult to be connected to. It means a lot to me that somebody's out there and they may not know exactly what I'm going through, but somebody's watching me. I'm very grateful to Ladley because they helped me in my stage of coming out of foster care, um, going to college, and now being a social worker where I can help other people that were where I was at in foster care and needing that family support. The young people that I've met um, inspire me. They inspire me to, to do anything I can to help them make that transition. You know, they're a stepping stone. You know, they kind of help plant the foundation for you, you know, and you like to see. They're, they're just truly amazing uh, young people, and you just want to see that potential in them blossom. Eventually, through time, through all the work that everybody put in together, I, I think the system can definitely change, and you know, one day we can all sit back together and say, well, we all did this together, and we can smile and be proud of what we've accomplished.